The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Then some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium and turned the people against them. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the town, thinking he was dead. The disciples came crowding around him, but as they did so, he stood up and went back to the town. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Derby. Having preached the good news in that town and made a considerable number of disciples, they went back through Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch. They put fresh heart into the disciples, encouraging them to persevere in the faith, saying, we must all experience many hardships before we enter the kingdom of God. In each of these churches, they appointed elders, and with prayer and fasting, they commended them to the Lord in whom they had come to believe. They passed through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. Then, after proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia, and from there sailed for Antioch, where they had originally been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On their arrival, they assembled the church and gave an account of all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. They stayed there with the disciples for some time. In our response from Psalm 145, all your creatures shall thank you, Yahweh, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingship and tell of your might, making known your mighty deeds to the children of Adam, the glory and majesty of your kingship. Your kingship is a kingship forever. Your reign, O oh Lord, lasts from age to age. Yahweh is trustworthy in all his works, upright in all of his deeds and words. My mouth shall always praise Yahweh and let every creature bless his holy name forever and ever. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, Peace I bequeath to you. My own peace I give you, a peace which the world cannot give. This is my gift to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me say I am going away and shall return. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe. I shall not talk to you much longer because the prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me, but the world must recognize that I love the Father and that I act just as the Father commanded. Come now, let us go. The Gospel of the Lord.